our subscribers, friends, colleagues, everyone. Big up yourself, viewers. You need to subscribe, big up yourself. Alright, um, today I'll be showing you how to understand pie chart. I know this is a PEP level question. However, even CSEC persons do not understand like what is a pie chart. Most of you guys for your SBA will be using a Excel to create the chart. So sometimes you guys do not understand the whole calculation behind it. So I decided that I'm, I'm gonna share this with you. Prep students, I know this is a bit late, but I'm gonna do it. I promised you guys earlier to do it, but I haven't got into it. All right, so we're gonna create a pie chart. Now a pie chart, you have to do things that in relation. It must be some form of relationship, right? Like a comparison. So I did this with my class the other day. I'm just gonna do it. We looked at the more, the most popular social media platform. So, and these were the votes. And this, and this is what the class voted for. Just write Instagram got ten votes. Facebook surprisingly got two. When I asked them about it, them said so Facebook are for old people. So TikTok, the new sensation got thirteen, and WhatsApp. I was surprised that WhatsApp only got five. Because everyone uses WhatsApp, but it was more like to them in terms of quality or whatever, whatever. not just you. So, all right. So we're gonna create a pie chart using this information. So let me just say ten hundred twelve, ten hundred twelve, twenty-five, thirty. So we have a total of thirty. So guys, a pie chart is represented in a circular. Form, right it's a circle and we know that a circle is equal to 360 degrees so what we need to do is for each one of them we need to calculate how much, how much degrees of the circle that part would take so let's say for Instagram now It's 10 out of the total, and the total is 30, right? So the fraction will be 10 out of 30 times 360 degrees. Same thing for Facebook. It's 2 out of 30 times 360 degrees. Because what we're calculating is a fraction of the circle, right? And TikTok, let's just put this here, so be 13 out of 30 times 360 degrees and what's up represent 5 out of the 30 times 360 degrees all right so let's go we're gonna just say this is what one turn how can just say 13 to the 1 left 6 left 2 so this is 120 degrees. That's going to multiply 10 times 12. 13 to 31 into that 12. 12 times 2 is 24 degrees. 1, 12. 12 times 13 or 132. 156. 156. Okay. So this is 156. And this now. 5 times 12, 60 degrees, right? Alright, so we have established how much each would get. I'm just going to put the degrees right beside it because I'm going to clear the board. So this is 120 degrees, this is 24 degrees, and this is 156 degrees, and this is 60 degrees. 
So guys, I'm just gonna clear the board now. I'm gonna draw the circle. And then we're gonna put in the degrees. So, a circle, that's 360 degrees. So we're gonna cut up all of them in its portion. It's gonna be an estimate. However, it's gonna be a good estimate. I'm not sure what I mean by a good estimate. So, let's put a line right here. We kind of said the start, starting point. It's gonna be like a north line for the um, bearings, right? So, it's like a zero point. All right, so the first one we're gonna look at is Instagram and it's 120 degrees. Now, bear with me, let me just show you something. If I draw a dotted line, this would be 90 degrees. This would be 90, so all of this would be 180. And then this would be 270, and this would be 360, right? So 120, it's past 90. So this is 90, and we need 30 more, right? So all of this is 90. So a est good estimate would be about right here. So all of this with the Instagram. Remember you're gonna have your tool to calculate, right? So alright. So now we're gonna go from Facebook is 24 degrees. So 24 judging by that will be about here so unfortunately. So Facebook just take a little Alright, so now we need to find TikTok, which is about 156. So, right here is 120, and this is 24, right? So, we can add 120 and 24, and we get 144. So, right here is about 144. So, we need to get to 156 uh, from here so let us look at say what this would be that's all the, the estimate so all of this is 91 so we take 30 30 plus that 54 so 54 from 90 right here is about 36 right so this is 36 so 36 plus the 90, let's use the calculator for time, 36 plus the 90 equal 126. But we want to get to 156, so we need 30 more, right? So all of this is 90, so 60, that will go here, so, so 30, yeah. And this would be TikTok. And then the remainder would be 60 degrees, which is WhatsApp, right? So this is how you would have represented it on a pie chart. Guys, there's something that we can do also. We can, we can represent the percentage of each. Because you know, per pie chart comes with percentage, right? So this is how you calculate the percentage. It will be 10 out of the 30. Because percentage means out of 100 times 100 percent. So this is give a 33.3 percent because it's one third, right? First call it 33 percent. Just for argument C. So this represents 33 percent. And sometimes you can go on the computer, you can put it right here, you can put it in here. So let's not put it inside. Alright, this one now, 2 out of 30 times 100 percent this into this one this into this 15 100 into 100 divided by 15 gives us 6.6 .6. so we're just gonna call this 7 7 percent so we'll round up this one so TikTok now would be 13 divided by 30 times 100 so this is 43 percent 
and we can calculate the next one now so 43 plus that 33 plus this of 40 83 so this will be 17 percent so that's all we have calculated guys thanks for watching but before we go guys i'm gonna let you guys do one on your own all right guys this is what you're gonna do for me in a class of 20 students students voted for their favorite genre of music hip-hop got five dancehall got 11 soca got four and you are supposed to draw a pie chart to represent the data and show the percentage of each so you're gonna calculate the degrees just like i did one inch remember a pie chart a circle measures 360 degrees so we have to multiply by 360 degrees and for the percentage percentage mean out of 100 so we can multiply by 100 percent all right guys and an int when you add up everything is supposed to get 100 percent when you add up the degrees it's supposed to get 360 degrees thanks for watching guys remember to share with your friends so they can get the help all right thanks everyone